Titan, Project Titan, has a new... Uh, Big Bob is back, baby. New leader, <laughs> Bob Mansfield. He's found something he wants to do. Although the rumors now are that maybe Apple is not going to build a car, but build the software instead. Yeah. These are, these are like, really weirdly reported stories. Yeah, you yeah. can't. I mean, it's just a rumor. I think that would be very difficult. So like the one th a couple of things with this. One is that M Mansfield did step back from his role as head of hardware engineering at Apple, and he was replaced by Dan Riccio, and then uh, Johnny Saruji sort of split off the platform um, technologies group, which does all the silicon and all the internal stuff. Uh, but Bob has, has been around. Like if you talk to people at Apple, they see him. It's not He's not been a stranger and he's been working. He helped work on the Apple Watch. So he's by no means stepped away from Apple is now stepping back. The big thing here is that Apple tends to put a senior vice president in charge of everything. Like Jeff Williams is technically in charge of the Apple Watch, but there's a lot of other people, including Johnny Ive, very involved in that project. And Dan Riccio was in charge of Apple Car, but he's also in charge of every iPhone, every iPad, every, you know, every Mac. And putting Bob Mansfield there is you have somebody who very literally is a legend in his field. He launched the iMac, the iPhone, the iPad, and you're making this his basically his one job. And I think that is is just a huge win for everybody because it means that Riccio can focus on all the other products he's already shipping. Mansfield has a singular focus, which is Project Titan, uh, and everybody there gets the benefit of his enormous um, experience. And, you know, it's always involved self-driving software. It's just the degree of which it's self-driving and when that's the issue because, as we know, self-driving is great until anything unanticipated, like maybe a snowstorm happens. And then, you know, you've got to sort of understand what self-driving really means. And also it's so far out that there's a lot of time for Apple to sort of ex explore this space. And it's what they're doing in the meantime, how they're, how they're doing everything from the software stack up that I think is super important. Yeah, it, it's a really interesting, uh, it, the thing is everyone assumes self-driving car, but in truth, you're talking about situations where you can create whatever business you want to right now. It's not even necessarily, I, I, think it, I think it would be a very smart thing to try to work on the software that can become part of a standard that every modern car in the next 20 years is going to be based upon. But it could also be something as simple as we are going to work on the software that a government or a city would buy in order to coordinate traffic and observe traffic and figure out how to route traffic uh, through, uh, through cities or even... Uh, analytical software that can take real-time data and figure out this is the next bridge that needs to be fixed this is the next road that should be uh, improved or this is the new this is where we should probably be considering adding more capacity to uh, to our transit system uh, there's a there's a smart cities initiative uh, from the department of transportation uh, that's getting a lot of traction there's so much you could do with by just putting lots of sensors on the road and then figuring out what those sensors are telling you. Uh, so there's just because uh, a company is putting billions of dollars into automotive stuff and transportation doesn't necessarily mean they're building a car. It could be that they are thinking a little bit more abstract and therefore uh, really uh, looking for a situation where they can basically get eight cents out of every dollar that's being spent by every government and every consumer uh, for the next 20 years.